Hey guys, today what I want to teach you a little bit about is contact sets and how we can actually make a bit of an animation. Okay, so we're going to draw something like this, not with so many components, but for the advanced learners, we can probably do more of these sorts of things and come up with something that goes on top. So you can make your own Automadia device. So eventually we're going to have something that we can rotate and my, my hard drive is very full, so it won't actually rotate at the moment. And it's completely frozen, which is not great. Oh, here we go. So it's starting to rotate a little bit now, so we can actually have some stuff that's going to work a little bit like this. Um, now, the thing about Fusion 360 is when you start to get into complicated stuff using animation, it's going to start to slow your computer down a, a little bit. Um, and that's just how it is. But I usually use this thing called uh, motion study and that's actually quite good because what you can actually do, we can actually go and select our joint and I'll go up to there and we're going to make it 360 degrees and go OK and we should actually be able to get, sorry, I'll start that again. We should be able to go in, select our joint and we're going to start there at 360 degrees and let's hit play on that and that should start turning the gears there fairly well okay so we're going to end up doing something like this which is pretty good okay um, so i'm just going to close that and let's get stuck into it straight away so first thing we're going to do is do a top down cad design so we're going to start and just build everything from scratch so come up with a Quick front view, I'm going to create a shape. Um, let's make that 160 millimeters long and about 120 high. Pretty good. Okay, and then I'll draw another little square inside of this and let's make that one 140 long and uh, tap to 100 high. Enter, and I'll just quickly do a sketch dimension between that one and that one is 10 millimeters, and that one and that one is 10 millimeters. Okay, so we've got a shape there to start off with for our frame. Other ways you can do this is you can just build all the components, and the good thing about building them individually is you can actually then hide some of these <coughs> when you do your animation. So now I'll just go back, uh, let's make that 80, 80 back into there. Now I'll quickly just draw a hole in here. Uh, let's find the center point, which is highlighted here. And we'll go down to somewhere around, somewhere around there. It's got five millimeters. <clears throat> Might actually bring that up a little bit <clears throat> by doing a sketch dimension. And <clears throat> let's make that 50. Enter. <clears throat> the total height, I think, was, uh, I'm just trying to remember what we made it. We, let's go back in here. On 120, okay. So that's, uh, that's 120. So let's make this, uh, let's change this to 60, actually. So halfway. Finish that sketch. And we will extrude that straight through. And we're going to go direction. We're going to make it through all as a cut. And we'll just take it through. Then we're going to do another sketch here. So I'll create a circle in here. Five millimeter circle, finish that sketch. And I'm going to extrude that. And let's make it a two-sided so we'll come out 25 millimeters that way and this one will extrude all the way out to actually it's coming out the other side doesn't really matter and we make that a new component there we make it a new body but a new component is better for what we're going to be doing anyway and let's name that straight away so we know what we're working with later on it's the axle then I'll draw, draw a, another shape on this, this end here. 
and I'm going to draw it, make another shape. So I'll extrude that, um, and we can actually just leave it, go back 10 millimeters. I'll join that so it's all part of it, but you could actually have that as a separate component as well. And I'll just draw another little shape here. And make that five millimeters. And we'll extrude that one out. Okay, so we've got our handle. And we'll join that one as well. So that's all part of, we'll just make it all part of one. Now, uh, next thing, we can use the power of the computer here. So I'm just gonna go to the top view and I'm gonna draw a sketch on, on this shape here. And what we can do, we're going to find the center of this line, which is about there. And I'm going to draw a five millimeter circle there. Press enter. <clears> then <throat> next thing we'll do a credit pattern, rectangular pattern of that shape. And we're going to go in that direction. And we're going to have, let's make five of those shapes. And we'll go out to uh, minus 160. So we get a few different patterns in there. So we've got the three shapes there, which is perfect. And we've got close that off. And what I'll do now, I'll extrude these, these shapes down here. One, two, three. And we're going to take that through. It's a cut. Next one, we're going to do another top view here, and I'm going to draw a circle, five millimeter circle. Finish that, and we're going to zoom out of that. Extrude that one out. And we're going to go two sides. Take that down that way, and that one up there. So, and we'll make that a new component. Okay, and we name that is going to be the piston. Okay, let's have a look at that. It's a little bit down there. That's good. That's perfect. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're going to create a pattern of this rectangular pattern. And we'll select the component, which is going to be this component. And we're going to select the direction, which will be this direction. And we want to go out, take three of those out there. And that's perfect. So now we've got our rods here. It's pretty good. Now, next thing, let's go off a face here. And we're going to construct a offset plane from here. And we'll just drag this plane out. So it's in the middle of that shape there. Good. Now construct another offset plane from that shape. That goes out 70. And a third one. Let's go out to there. We got all those positions. Now that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna draw another sketch, a new sketch on. Let's go on this shape here. And what I can do, let's get rid of the body, which is that one there. And now we can start drawing. Okay, so first shape, what I might make is, let's do a, a cam. So I'm just gonna go down here and draw a shape with 30 mil, like 30 millimeters cam there, 30 mil circle there, press enter. And I'll do another circle up here. Well, oh, that was a little bit off center. Escape out of that. And let's join that together. I'll draw a line from there to there and there to there. Okay, and then what we need to do, we need to make sure that's gonna be on the tangent so to click the tangent that's on tangent there. That one is now tangent. It's written those two are already done. Okay, so that's okay. 
then let's modify and trim the bits we don't need. So we don't need that bit and we don't need that bit. Okay, which is good. Finish that sketch. Let's have a look at it. Perfect. Okay, so now we'll just extrude that shape and we're going to extrude it two ways, two sides. <clears throat> so symmetrical would be better. And we'll make that five millimeters and we'll make that, we'll join it to the axle, which is good. Next one, let's do another sketch on this one here now. And I'm going to draw a polygon, inscribed polygon from that shape there. So let's just get that out there so that's nice and straight. It's good. Finish that sketch and let's extrude that one. We're going to join and we're going to do it uh, symmetrically by five millimeters. Okay, that's that one. And then the last one is we should have actually We'll do another drawing here. Let's go in here. So sorry. Let's just draw another. Let's just draw a wonky shape. Okay, and we finish that sketch. <clears throat> and let's extrude that one symmetrically. Five millimeters as we join it and go okay okay so then now we'll just turn back on our bodies again and we have our shape here now what we need to do now that we've drawn it from a top-down design point of view so everything is actually built in place what we can actually start to do so let's just join everything together so this is where we can assemble as built joint. Uh, so I think most of these are actually joined. Oh, they're all already joined together. So that should be fine. Okay, so just cancel out that. Next thing, we'll actually do a, a assemble a, as built joint in here. So we're going to do a revolute and we're going to select that and it's going to go revolve around that point. Perfect. Now, uh, next one, <clears throat> what we want to do, we want to assemble as built joints for this one here, and it's going to be a slider. It's going to slide up and down there. Yep. Next one, assemble as built joint, slider. There. Okay, third one, assemble as built joint. This one, slider. Okay, that's perfect. All right, now we want to make these things run like cams on top of the. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to lower that one down. Oh, we need to actually, first of all, we need to create contact sets. So let's go and enable contact sets, which will allow us to join these two. So that's it. It's going to create a new contact set. So this one and this one is a contact set. And we'll create a new contact set for this one. This one and this one is a contact set. New contact set is the third one. Okay, now what we want to do, let's drop this one down here so it won't actually go any further than that. So that's our bottom point, right? So let's first of all, let's just click on the dimension for that. Minus 21.34. So that's the bottom. That's as low as that piston will actually go. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go to joints and we're in slider 2. So you can click over here and our resting point, which is the lowest point, is going to be that. 
Okay, now next one we're going to do is let's bring this one round and drop that one down into there. So I think that's about the lowest point that that one's going to go to. So we can control that minus 23 in slider 3. Go to our resting point there. It's minus 23. And this one has got to come down a fair way. Let's push this right down. Oops. Bring this round. This is where my hard drive is now getting full. My graphics process and not so work, work so well. Let's bring this round to where we think it's going to be about the bottom. Bring this one down. Okay, I'm having a few little problems, but let's just copy that one out. Control C, and that's the bottom one for slider four. And our resting point is at the bottom of that one. And go OK. Now, what we should actually have is now we should actually all they all, all will be joined together, and we can then rotate. And we can do it by hand, but a better way to do it is to do it by a motion study. So I'm just going to rotate around here a little bit and just get into that position there so we can all see that quite clearly. Um, I might just go from the back way there. That's pretty good. And we'll do a pick out a joint, which is going to be this one here because this is our, ax our axle. And at this point here, we want to make it rotate by 360 degrees. Okay. Oops. Sorry, I didn't do that right. We got our axle here. This is 360. Okay. And then there we've got our line there. So let's repeat that. Speed it down a little bit and hit play and let's see what happens. And it's starting to go around. Okay, now this is going slow on my computer because my computer is fully full with the hard drive. So I would like to see where you guys get to. And if you can screen record that, that would be excellent. And let's see what we can come up with. Thank you. Chat to you soon.